Hello everyone, this is KJ. Welcome back to Planet Crafter. I've put in a couple more heaters. I don't know. I was thinking we really need more heat and pressure. But first we need more oxygen and to that end we're going to go uh, over to the algae generator. I've put in a couple more. Oh, that one's the... I found a mushroom seed. Uh, one, two, three, four. There we go. And we got a little brunch there. And I've grabbed some stuff and some things. And we're going to go uh, put a bio lab over there where the algae generator is so that we're only carrying, uh, you know, the product back instead of carrying back all of the constituents. And uh, thank you to the comments uh, that I got on the last video for suggesting. Uh, that I put a bio lab with my algae generators. That's that's not a bad idea. Bio labs aren't that expensive to make, and uh, you know later on we'll probably take a couple of them down at least. Uh, auto crafters can can do I think everything in there if you have the ingredients. I think. At any rate, uh, we're gonna go uh, over there and uh, check on the algae. There definitely is an issue with the algae. Like, I had the normal thing where you gotta reload to get the algae to show. Sometimes you have to reload to get your trees to show or things like that. Uh, I've had that issue. But also, um, there was maybe maybe the tier one algae generators only do just a tiny bit but uh yeah they were definitely not showing so i picked up uh, uh bioplastic on my way there and back i found another blue crate picked up some bio plastic out of that made some more algae generators i did still have some bioplastic back at the base and uh, I was glad to not have to use that. Uh, if I'm saving up stuff in, uh, in a container, in a locker storage, um, I, and it's still available out on the ground, I'll go pick it up off the ground. You know, rather than spending that stuff that's in storage. Yeah, we got loads and loads of iridium in here. I think I got, like... There might be one aluminum left in here. <laughs> I thought I saw an aluminum earlier, but then when I got really close to it, it turned out to be an ice cube. I've been up there just to that first shelf and grabbed a little bit of super alloy and stuff. Oh, we might need another locker here. But we can go ahead and... Uh, do I have everything? No, I need the, that on me. We can go ahead and build this bio lab. Oh, that was perfect. Perfect! Uh, okay. And then we are going to also put in some food tubes. Oh, nope. I need hold the button down. I've only got three. Let's see what I miss in here for the next one. Um, oh, a bottle of water. Yeah. I built a water collector here. Because I was dying of thirst. <laughs> Those aren't very well put in. Alright, so now we've got that growing. And it's two... For each and a sulfur. Uh, oh, I don't have the algae on me. There we go. Great. So now we've got three fertilizers and, oops, uh, flower spreaders and um, magnesium, water, and super alloy. Uh, let's put the food away. We have that. We have the magnesium. We just need some super alloy. I'm just going to head off some hunger and stuff at the pass there. And we need 
um, another uh, uh, locker storage. So we're just doing a little bit of production today to kind of get both get the oxygen going uh, and get um, uh, this fertilizer production going. I actually had an iron, didn't I? <clears throat> I have a bit of a sore throat today. Uh, I was up super late last night making a video with Lava Lamp. And, uh... I'm <laughs> just... Uh... Here we go. Did I get everything? I did. I gotta turn this thing around. It's gonna make me crazy. All right, I brought over um, a transformation stages thing that shows we're in lakes now, 10% into moss. Let's see if we have uh, any algae. Uh, it'll tell you uh, up above if it's not ready. And we are gonna go get uh, the gold chest from here. We got a ton of this. This might be more than I can store. <laughs> but we'll take uh, we'll take some fertilizer home if we can. I don't know if we'll be able to do that today, because that's going to depend on that um, uh, uh, stuff. This stuff, eggplants. <laughs> Words. It's going to depend on those eggplants growing. All right, what was the next step? Uh, super alloy. All right, let's go get some. I don't think uh, I ever took you guys up here. I mean, other than to get that ship up there. I don't think I ever took you guys up here for super alloy last season. I think we just went into production on it because we have the aluminum fields and... I just dropped a, an extractor on the aluminum fields and just started making super alloy. Oh, there was a little water right there. So this is a little bit tricky here. Uh, jump, jump, jump. Jump. There we go. All right. There's some more aluminum here, too. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I find it very difficult to see the super alloy up here. I think it's just the the lighting, you know. Is it one each? Um, yeah, one each. So we just need one more for right now. And we'll save the time by not wandering around the... All right, fine. You're just going to be right in front of me. <laughs> uh, we do still have golden seeds at home. Uh, we're going to use those over there uh, to beautify the waterfall area. But I do want to get some uh, oxygen uh, production going. Now, I didn't check. That is 13, and that is 161. And it also contributes to plants. All right, so let's go get some uh, golden crates and uh, put all of that away. We'll take one of those. Always carrying an oxygen. Um, I, I always carry an ox an oxygen until I can't anymore. How are you guys doing? 49%. I think, yeah, I think uh, if I don't have to sneeze, we'll, we'll be able to do this. Uh, excuse me. All right, let's grab some uh, golden seeds. I hope that uh, the contents of the chests are like worthy. <laughs> because <laughs> really I just want the golden seeds but um, it'd be nice to see some uh, super alloy rods and um, a rocket or two would be nice <laughs> uh, 
I think the uh, the super alloy rods would probably make me jump for joy. So here's uh, one. There we go. No super alloy rods, but it did have super alloy in it. I don't know if we can carry four golden chests, but that's all right. <laughs> and the, another one over here. I think we're going to have to drop stuff off. <laughs> over there before I fly all the way around the canyon edge let's just go straight there there's also this little hidden cave here uh, it doesn't have a golden chest in it but it, the chest that's in it will probably have some good stuff oops Not paying attention there uh, how much is that uh, we still have room, but uh, the other two are over in the aluminum field. And like I said, there is one up in the maze, in the super alloy maze. But we only need four golden seeds right now. The benefit to spending a little bit of time here is ensuring that I get some algae out of this. Because uh, when I came into the game, the algae was definitely not doing what it was supposed to be doing. Uh, we're out of room already. <laughs> There's a little bit of room left. Alright, that stuff has to go home with us anyway. Let's go get a couple more. Once you learn where the gold chests are... They're really, really easy to get to and really easy to find. That one that's up above the falls, the sand falls, it's a little bit tricky because there's a lot of rocks there. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, you just need to line that one up. But here we go underneath the bridge. Uh, you know, still nothing that's making me wet my pants. <laughs> All of these uh, lakes, or not all of them, but a couple of them, have blue chests in them, and um, there's blue chests all over the place, you know. There's one right there. I do kind of want to let the aluminum field blue chests mature. Uh, and here's one right here. No super alloy rods. <laughs> You know, here's another one. I think there's two blue chests on this side. There's one next to the ship over there. There's one up against that wall. You see that cliff? There's a blue chest against that wall. And there's one right there where I put my hut every time. So lots and lots of chests. Here's another chest. I don't know if I've opened that one. I don't think so. I think that's the first time I've been that far across this little plateau. But, alright, we are all ready to put up flower spreaders and pump up our oxygen. I've, just got, I've got way too much stuff on me. Um, magnesium, water, and stuff and things. Oh, I need another box. It's just too much stuff. <laughs> it's too many things. And one more right there. But I can't... I cannot reiterate enough how much I enjoy, you know, flying around and doing the adventure stuff and, you know... Um, having fun it's oops let's put that in there too it's not all about business with me uh fertilizer where did i put the magnesium there it is those oh did i only make three fertilizer i did really i had one. Oh, i only made two all right that's okay uh there's two waters. There's the water waters. Oh, it's so dark. 
And I'm thirsty. <laughs> Take care of that right away. Alright. Let's plunk these down. And there we go. They don't have to be spread out. But, you know, it creates a little field of... Uh, flowers anyway. And now we need to make another fertilizer. Uh, I wonder if we've gotten to that point yet. Uh, only 72. Uh, that's going to be minutes. <laughs> minutes away. All right. I can't leave that much uh, aluminum over here. Uh, we only need like the one, right? Oh, we don't need aluminum for that. Uh, what was I thinking? Oh, we got the lake water collector, but we're going to need to get the bioplastic for that. And I think we might hold off on that. Uh, just because we can, because we've got two of these. And we got the biodome T2, which means I need two more fertilizer. Oh, so much eggplant. How much now? Oh boy. <laughs> all right, let's grab um, all of this. Should I? Uh, see, my brain is saying no. Don't don't do it that way. Go get the algae first, because there's got to be more, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that one, I, I logged into the game, and that very first algae collector that we dropped uh, was like zero production. It had, uh, it had two little tiny pieces of algae on it. And I thought, oh no, I'm going to be spending like all day. Uh, I guess we can make maybe make the two bacteria no and we have tons of algae yeah we can only make one because now we're out of water okay here we go it's not enough storage <laughs> that's plenty of super alloy to leave here uh, i will leave an oxygen here I can leave that food here and definitely that bacteria and then we'll take that what did I pick up eh. all right that's fine we'll leave that there uh, what about now 81 <laughs> there's the t2 that is twice as much but it it's also really good for oxygen. Oh, now I'm thinking. Now I'm thinking, should I upgrade right away? Right now, while well, I've got tons and tons of algae stored up and no, um, no, uh, uh, eggplant. Why can't my brain remember the word eggplant? Eggplant. <laughs> It's telling me I need to think more about things. <laughs> Alright, well, let's get this bit of loot home. And we'll see. I know uh, where the chests are that I... The gold chests that are that I haven't been to. So, I think we're uh, on on the downhill side of that like there's only a couple of them left not counting the ones that are in the story mode stuff oxygen's fine I did go into this cave right here um, and take a look at those blue chests no rockets We're gonna have some uh, freezes here on the way back. Um, yeah, there's one. 
So, uh, the new computer is in the mail. It's on its way. It's very nerve-wracking waiting for it, knowing that uh, I actually know that there's something wrong with the um, with the graphics card now in this one. It's not just strained. It is strained, but it's not just that. And uh, for some reason, um, Planet Crafter is running, even though I moved it over to the SSD. It's running on both drives at the same time, and I'm not sure what's going on with that. But that will be correct, correct, uh, corrected. Come on. Thank you. That'll be corrected when I download it onto the new computer with a fresh download. Uh, the new computer has a one terabyte SSD, so it's uh, it's got plenty of room. The SSD that I'm on right now, I think it's 225 or something like that gigabytes. It's whatever it is. It's Windows, all of Windows bloatware, No Man's Sky, and Planet Crafter, and I have 20 a variable amount of gigabytes left between 20 and 28. All right, we have all of these orange flowers. Get rid of, we might have to, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was kind of thinking, we don't have room for that. Oh, I didn't pick up any sulfur. I did pick up that. See, we still have the four osmium that I picked up. We are way, way overloaded on aluminum. And we've got that three bioplastic left, um, which means a total of six bioplastic we have. No, no. We have four of those. So we have seven bioplastic. So we can make three of these, but we need the... Um, we need that. Here's our first mushroom. Pretty happy about that. Put that away. Take that. Oh, we need to put the put the effigies away. It might be easier to just display those things. I'm always gonna leave one extra emergency water behind. I do have two super alloy rods. Oh, I keep missing that little guy. So we have uh, uh, 13 of 22. And how are we doing here? Uh, that is just a screen. That's a heater. Oh yeah, Biodome T2. Uh, that's what we came back for was stuff to make fertilizer. But we don't need to carry the biodome back and forth because <laughs> it's going to be over here. All right, we need food and water. Where did I put all the extra food? There we go. Let's see what we can do with this little drill here. Oh, I was able to get all of it. Awesome. Oh my god, this game. Come on. <laughs> uh, let's see. Titanium. Is everything else full? I think so. There we go. And a couple of flowers. Um... I think there's still some extra water in there as well. Yeah, tons of it. Ah, and tons of flowers. Oh, there's the extra fertilizer. Good grief. I knew I had one. Excuse me. I have a very sore throat today. All right. All right, here we go. We're not quite done with the production on the other side of the map. Did I grab? Yes, I did. 
The orange flowers that are in the veggie tubes, uh, we will put in flower spreaders on this side of the map. Um, probably next time, because next time I'll have uh, lots of fertilizer. Hopefully. And, um, and uh, yes, we'll do it next time. I just wanted to set up the fertilizer production this time. But we'll do that next time, along with maybe going to the big bunker, which I marked with that beacon. And, um, yeah, I did a bunch of, like, straightening up with foundations and um, put a foundation under the production area and a staircase and a foundation under the nuclear power generators and straightened up those uh, drills and we obviously just got the T4 drill it's kind of power hungry and it costs less to just launch a rocket honestly but I want to get to building and unfortunately that means like pushing really hard to get to an oxygen atmosphere and stuff so that I can uh, oops <laughs> breathe oxygen uh, and so that I can uh, do things like buy bigger rooms and the big dome rooms I've never bought those or used those um, the big three by three rooms that you get with the Terra tokens I haven't done that I am going to, in between episodes, make fertilizer and um, bring back the stuff for the uh, T2 biodome because I want that tree bark. And one is one is usually enough if you put it in, you know, as soon as possible, and remember to collect the tree bark from it. You have, by the time you have tree spreaders, you have enough, you know, tree bark to make trees with. Are those all already blooming? I should think so. Orange flowers. <laughs> I think I'd like to make a, like a progress screen too. What is that? Uh, iron... Cobalt and silicon. Okay. So we just need some of that. And then we can make some more fertilizer. And we need another bacteria. Oops. And to find that bacteria. There we go. And then we need the sulfur and that stuff that I left on the other side of the map. Okay where I, it needs to be and we'll put that in there how about now yay first harvest <laughs> oh my goodness uh, oh let's drop off some water and just bring back the one that I always carry around and yeah, I think we'll convert these. I might convert these in between episodes so that I'm spending a little bit of time out here. And um, uh, we'll make this. Do we have time to make this? I think so. I think we do. Let's race back home and make that T2 biodome so that it's working on making tree bark while I'm over here goofing off making fertilizer between episodes. <laughs> I just want to get this stuff going and uh, I'm sure that there are things that I left behind in those lockers that I probably should and could carry home. You know, I'm sure there's lockers all over the map with things in them that I could carry home. <laughs> and I have an extractor for that, but it's there, so why not? 
<laughs> I like the adventure. I can't say that enough. I know I have it in storage. Sometimes I even have it in my inventory and I still pick it up. Because why shouldn't I? It doesn't take any power for me to just pick stuff up. You know? And, um... And I enjoy playing the game, so I'm going to take that time. Uh, I invite you to skip past those parts. <laughs> if I could work out how to do timestamps, maybe I will when I get the new computer. If I could work out how to do timestamps, I might give you timestamps to skip all of the traveling bits. <laughs> but I'm not going to edit my videos down and make it look like I do, you know, 12 hours of work in 35 minutes. That's never going to happen. I, uh, I've i done editing before, and I don't enjoy it. it I, it's just not... I just don't enjoy it. And I don't feel the need to cut, you know, everything out. When you guys can just skip it. You know, you can just advance the little bar... Hit the fast forward button. Remember VH tapes? Oh God, it was so hard on the VH tapes. Can we just not freak out right here? Like that last one was really intense. <laughs> I didn't think the game was gonna come back. All right, so next time, Iklis's big bunker. And uh, this time we're gonna slap a big, um, a big biodome down right here. I might have to take out a couple of those um, uh, foundations that I put in. Uh, there we go. That's the whole thing. And let's see. It says no. <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> the, the game's like, no, there's there's all kinds of stuff over there. Um, let's see here. I don't. I think I'm gonna have to take those out because I think uh, it goes down. All right, I'm wrong. <laughs> I don't have to take any of them out. Woohoo! We have trees. <laughs> All right, we've got the production going on. We're gonna get our tree bark uh, started up. We have a fabulous view of the waterfall from here. Wow, that couldn't have worked out better. Thank you all so much for coming along. Uh, we'll get busy again next time. I hope you all have a lovely evening. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>